It is the destination for Halloween. People from all over the world are descending on the witch city of Salem tonight, where police are out in force to make sure it is fun and safe. Thanks for being with us on this Halloween. I'm Lisa Hughes. City officials in Salem are expecting record crowds tonight. WBZ's Ken McLeod is live in Salem for the festivities. Ken? <laughs> Lisa, the normal population for Salem is about 45,000 people. And on several days during October, they've had 100,000 visitors out here on the street. So clearly, volume is an issue. But they are entertaining and, for the most part, well behaved. A Halloween stroll in downtown Salem is a costume roller coaster. We love this madness. Love everyone coming here. Love being able to welcome everyone to a place that we love as well. So. Indeed, the Witch City has welcomed record crowds on each of the previous three Saturdays, and officials predict tonight could top that. Our roads were essentially designed 400 years ago, and uh, while there have been significant improvements, uh, there's only so much you can do. What they have done is successfully urge the use of public transit to ease the parking crunch and made a bunch of downtown streets pedestrian only, keeping paths clear for first responders. But so far, there has been precious little trouble. Crazy amount of people, but I'm telling you, from people being all over the world, they're actually the nicest people you can meet. Like these folks from Australia, where Halloween fun by adults is not a thing. Americans love to gain the spirit of everything, so we love it. Sports games, everything. Yeah, so, yeah, it's the best. Where else can you get a comforting hug from Satan or kind words from some sea creature? It's just a beautiful place to be. You can come here, be yourself for a couple of days, let loose and have some fun and enjoy the day. It's the kind of vibe where a hideous look is appreciated and even respected. I've seen some really, really beautiful uh, witches in these gorgeous dresses and very glamorous. And if all of these visitors spend their money in local shops and go home happy and safe, Salem will count its blessings and start planning for next year. This is our, our big, big season, our big, big day, and we want to make sure we get everything right. Fireworks over the North River caps off this night. Unfortunately, that starts six minutes after the last train leaves to return to Boston. So when it comes to getting in and out of town, planning is certainly the key. Live in Salem tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Wow, that was great timing for that costume. Ken, thank you.